Okay, today's vlog is Spurs versus Arsenal. Coming on to Oxford, but I had a chance to come here, so um, come here. You know, might still get to Oxford, although if I do, it'll only be for the uh, second half. Um, but yeah, it's about 50 minutes before kickoff. Quite busy, as you'd expect. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, so we made it into the ground. We're on the other side of where we're normally from. And, um, yeah, Spurs are Arsenal. So, I think the score today, I'm gonna go for 2-1. I'm gonna say Arsenal, I think. I'll just get that fit, I don't know. Spurs uh, lost the last two games against uh, Burnley. They lost that 2-1 and Chelsea. So, Dill, what score do you think it's gonna be? 2-1 Arsenal, I'm going to go for the yep. same score, uh, double for Lacazette, and uh, I do think Spurs will go on the hook. There we go, so we've both gone for 2-1 Arsenal. Like I say, in previous vlogs, I support Scunthorpe, we both support Scunthorpe, okay. so ultimately, whoever wins, we're just here as a neutral. But you know, I've got um, family that are Spurs, so for them, yeah, it'd be nice for them to win, but, you know, one of those things. So I'll go for 2-1 anyway. Okay, so about three minutes or so, four teams come out. I've been here and seen them play Man U and I've been here, sorry, Man United. We got told off for Man U last time. Yeah, the teams are coming out now and I've seen them against Dortmund and the atmosphere is so much better already, you can feel it. Definitely feel it. They just sent him away. Around his man and put it in from an angle. Arsenal fans going ecstatic as you'd expect. 1-0 Arsenal. Yeah. Oh! Great header! It's a great header! Oh, he's offside! He's offside! That is a great header as well. I think it was Harry Kane. And um, he's offside. Everyone was up. And um, yeah, great ball in as well. Just rose up. And um, yeah, it's offside. Okay, so since that goal's gone in, 15 minutes later now, and Tottenham have had that disallowed goal, and definitely being all Tottenham. Arsenal have had a couple of forays forward, but Tottenham definitely will be more likely to score in this. And um, yeah, it's a good game. Enjoying it. How close was that? I thought it was going to be one on before half time. It's a great ball over the top. Corner. That was the ideal time to score, 43rd minute. Okay, so it's half time. It's 1 0 to Arsenal. Um, this loud goal saves at the end there. Um, Spurs probably should have been one all. Good game though, end to end. And that's not the first time he's been asleep either. He was asleep just before Arsenal scored. But yeah, while nothing's happening, why not get a, get a few uh, five minutes or so? 
but yeah, looking forward to the second half. I don't think we've ever made Gox, but it took us ages to get here. When you think about it on the tube from where we parked. So to get to Oxford, I think we'll probably get there for the last five, ten minutes of that game against Scunthorpe. So, not going to happen, I don't think. Unless something miraculous happens and we end, walk out of Wembley and our car's parked there. I know it's not. So, well, hopefully we'll win that game. And do with a win, just to keep pushing the other, for the top half of the table. So then, Bill, what do you uh, think to this half? Both keepers have made good saves and, yeah, I think Arsenal are lucky for this game to be 1-0 because Bird Leno made a double good save, but I'd say Arsenal are dominate, uh, dominating or having the better chances, but yeah, it's quite a close game to be fair, it's a good game I've got them cup. I wouldn't say Arsenal are dominating though, I'd say Spurs are dominating. No, I mean, and I mean by, they've had the better chances out of both teams, Lewis has made a good save down there as well, so. Yeah, he has, and like you say, Leno made a good save at the end there, but I'd say Spurs are dominating this, in all fairness, the score, so, you know, obviously it goes on goal scored, Arsenal winning 1-0. But I think, you know, I know we predicted 2-1 the beginning of the game for Arsenal. But the way the game's gone on, I think it could be uh, Spurs winning 2-1. I really do. They just seem a lot more, I don't know what the word is, efficient. But then they've not been that efficient in front of goal. Obviously, because they've not scored. So I think it'll be a good second half, whatever happens anyway. Kieran took here with the worst cross I've seen in a long time. That was shocking. It was a great ball for Maddie Kane to find him as well, but what ball he put across. Unbelievable. Unbelievably bad, not good. Bad. No idea how Lacazette just missed then. Well, I don't know. Just put it wide. What wide? Did even make him Lloris make a save? So that could be the chance that Tottenham need, really. To, if that had gone 2-0, Good team going back into it. It has been, um, they've been a bit flat this second half and that first, but we're only eight minutes in, still plenty of time. Oh, the referee for me is blowing too easy in this game. It's just Danny Rose has gone in there for a ball with keeper. And it's a 50-50. The referee's blown for it. And for me, just let the game play on. Yeah, the keeper stayed down, but he's going to stay down, isn't he? Do you know I mean? He's looking for that. But for me, that's not, you know, there's been one yellow card in this, in this. it's North London derby. You want a bit of fight in a derby, don't you? Whoever is playing, whatever derby it is, you want a bit of fight, a bit of, get your foot in. It's just, you know, you can hear, obviously, Spurs fans round about aren't happy. That's not a goal, it's a penalty for Spurs. I don't know if it was a penalty, in all fairness. But like to me, it fell down a bit easy. But Spurs have got a penalty. 72nd minute. So I'm sure they'll score. Let's see. Okay, it's where the Kane's going to take this. Slated, I remember. 30 million, got absolutely slated. But this game has been really good. And other games I've seen as well has been good. Might have been up a bit now on the pitch as well. 15 minutes left, 14 minutes left, whatever stoppages. But it has livened up a bit. Side of his man. 
and support his foot. You pulled him down? Well, I'm not pulled him down, just not. He's, you're going to go down, aren't you? If you feel that. Last minute. Oh my days. Okay, so everyone's willing the to save this. Well, apart from Arsenal fans. Can you believe it? North London Derby, last minute penalty. Oh, he saved it! He saved it! Wow! Spurs fans have gone mental over towards the Arsenal fans, goading them. What is that? Yeah, corner for Arsenal. But wow! Saved it. We're the best penalty in all fairness. Okay, so it's fired into life in about the 94th minute. And Lucas Torreira has just been sent off. And he's uh, not happy about it, but yeah, so North London I'd be seeing the red cars. Like I said, we've only seen a couple of yellows before that. Well, not being anything, is it? No flying tackles in, but yeah, that would date it. Okay, so um, we're on our way back from the football now, heading up back up north. We stopped at the services. We, after the football, went into Central, had a walk round, had a look at some trainers, didn't buy any, makes a change. And yeah, the football, it was a good game, I thought, as a neutral. Obviously, if you're a Spurs fan, you've got a point, and the way it was celebrated, it felt like you'd score the second goal, not just the first goal to make it, so you were drawing. But, um, but that's, I guess, you know, when you're playing your rivals, and you score it and you're losing and you score, it's happy days. Um, Arsenal got that penalty right at the end, which they missed. Lloris saved it. Um, I didn't see it myself because obviously when it was saved, people jumped up and around. But um, I'm hearing that Vertonghen was well inside the area. But that's up to the referee to decide. So all in all, one all. I think both teams are going to be happy with that. I don't think they are, but I think they should be. Um, as for Scunthorpe, we lost 2-1 away at Oxford. Now, from what I'm hearing from that game, we were well in control, and yeah, Oxford had two attempts, two goals, that's what it's all about. You can be in control as much as you want, but until you put the ball in the back of the net, you know, that means nothing, does it? So, Oxford have done that, they've won the game, and I listened to a Stuart McCall interview, and he was saying that there's 11 games left, we can't win half, so let's go and win five. How about there's 11 games left, we can't win half of them, let's win six. You know, just little simple things. So why don't we win six games? Three more points extra on the board. Let's go for six. In fact, let's go for 11 games to win. How about that? But um, my next vlog, next game I attend will be next Saturday. We've got Bristol Rovers, they're coming to Glanford Park. And um, we need to get three points, basically. So I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Um, I enjoyed the day. It was great, you know, it was good to go. If you get a chance to go, to a North London derby, take it. Whatever else is happening, just get, go if you can. So I'll catch you all later and see you next Saturday. <laughs>